Hello, Salaam Alaikum, my dear colleague. Hope you are doing fine. This is Ahmed Siddiqui. Today, I'm going to make a video through which you will get to know the basic settings which are required to be done for the final exam in accordance with the examination committee rules being set up. So we, you will get to know what are the exact things which are required to be done so that a student is not being able to see the answer straight away so as to avoid any cheating cases whatsoever. So let's straight away go into the LMS and do our changes. So this is my LMS account. I'll go to the dashboard first. This is the basic page where we normally land into whenever we are logging in to the LMS. So let's go to my subject where I'm expecting to put the final exam. So I, I have to put up a new link over here as a final exam for that. The first thing which is required to be done is to click on this setting options and turn the editing on. Once I do that, I'll come down to the place wherever I need to put in my exam. I'll be putting my final test exam somewhere here. These are some, these are the things which are hidden to the students. Okay, add an activity, go to the quiz option, double click. Wait for some time. We'll get the window where we are, where we'll be doing the the most important settings. So going by but going by the naming convention set up by the examination committee, I will give this as final exam subject name and the date. For example, my the date of my exam is third of May two thousand twenty. If I want, I can put in the timing as well though it will be visible for the students at other area, but still I'll put it as 10 p.m. Okay, now, now comes the description part. This is where, we, where you can provide more information if you want to give it to the students. And uh, the main thing to note is that you can put in, you can record a video here as well, if you want something really important, which uh, which a student can see before the exam, any important instructions. You can give a voice note here as well. For example, I put in a voice note, I can see a starting record audio. I can put up a recording audio. Let's, let me put up a, one small audio. Okay, which is asking me to allow the microphone. Assalamu alaikum, dear students. I wish you all the best for the exam. The questions are pretty much clear and I hope you won't, you won't be fa facing any difficulty. I would request you not to cheat and do it by all fair means. Good luck, all the best. So I have recorded an audio note. I'll attach this recording over there and we'll get to see this thing once we see the student perspective. Let's come down. Let's come to the timing part. This is important. You have to set up the date, open the quiz date. Right now it is disabled. If you need to do any changes, click on enable button and set up the date, okay? For example, in my case, it is on the 5th of May, I can select it over here, over here. But as of now, I'll put the date as today because we'll be checking the test uh, as, as per the student perspective. So I'll just give it a time as uh, maybe seven o'clock. Let's put it as seven o'clock of today because right now it is seven, 6.46, 7 a.m. This exam will start, okay? Now comes the close the quiz part. This is something where we we have to decide when up to when the quiz is visible for the student. So, for example, if in our case, if we have got an exam for 30 minutes, it's better to put in some extra minutes and decide. For example, if my exam is starting at 7 a.m., I'll presume that if a student comes up late or something, but still, uh, let's give it a buffer of around another 15 minutes like that. So let's keep it 7.45, okay? 7.45, the, the quiz will be closed, okay? We can give a further time limit, which is important. We'll give it the time limit. For example, in our case, if we are presuming that the exam is for 30 minutes, we'll do it like that, okay? Remaining things for the timing, leave it as it is. Now comes the important part, which is the grading part. Come to grade and come to this field, attempts allowed. This is very important. This is showing as unlimited. We have to change it as one. You know, the problem is that if we don't do this thing, the student will be able to sub attempt the exam, submit the exam, 
and then again if he wants he can go back and do an attempt once again so it will be as if a student has done an exam and then he has given the paper to the invigilator and then again he's asking that i want to do it again so this is something which we need to avoid so let's avoid it by limiting the option to attempts allowed as one now coming to the layout part if you want every question to be appear appearing on a single page leave it as it is let's do it like that if you want more than one questions two questions on a single page three questions on a single page you can do that okay in my case i'll put it as every question on a single page okay or otherwise we can do it like that we can put in all the questions all together at a single page it's up to us it's now come to come coming to the part of question behavior uh okay as of now put it as it is now first come to the review part here this is important we don't want the student to see anything as soon as he completes the exam or if he's attempting any question so basically we have to remove everything from here so this portion is looking disabled for me right now so in order to make it enable i'll just change this option to immediate feedback for some time and just then i will be removing everything this is important once i do that i'll go back to deferred feedback once again this is important now i'll remove everything from here as well everything i don't want anything to be uh, sensed up by the student once he is attempting the exam we'll we'll keep it all at a secret place at the teachers area where he will check the questions and then he can uh, he can get the grades and he can then uh, announce the result in the that thing okay let's go back to the same place okay fine so right now as you have seen review options we have unchecked everything sorry about that yeah we just need to uh, this is the only thing which we cannot change leave it as it is because that is something which cannot be avoided and the remaining things you don't need to do anything whatsoever if you want you can give in a password you, you can give in a password at s uh, where is it maybe over here okay ex ex extra restrictions on items again this is something which you don't need to do leave it as it is these are the all the basic things which you do which you are required to do okay let's go and to save and display so now our exam is ready you can see this message is also showing up okay and uh, let's do one thing let's put in some questions i already have a lot of questions in my question bank so i'll be adding up the questions over there i'll go to add add a random question because i already have questions but in your case you will be putting it manually uh, a number of random questions i will say add 20 random questions let's go down and simply click on add random questions okay and i'll give in uh, since i've put up 20 questions i will put it up as 20 like this okay one more important thing is that whenever you are done with adding up the questions click on the shuffle option this is good because in this way the sequence of the questions will be coming up differently for the students and that that is important in this way uh, we can avoid the students cheating in any way whatsoever okay so we are done with adding up the uh, of the questions we have done the save option Let, let's click on save okay that okay it's already saved now now let's go back to the final exam so we can see it from here we can see it from here how does it look like the exam is all set okay now I'll show you in the next video how does it look like for a student. I'll be logging in, into the LMS from one of the fake students account and then we'll try to do it. We'll, we'll try to see how does it look like for the students. Okay. So see you in the next video. Okay, now we are going to check how does it look like for the students. So I have created a fake student who is a student of my subject. He is as good as the as the original student i have logged in with the credentials of a, of that student so now, right now a student has logged in to his lms account he can see the subject he knows that he has got a final exam in biostatistics so he'll go into the biostatistics area 
and uh, he can see that he has been instructed by the teacher. Maybe I can inform the students through WhatsApp. Go to the end of the page and you will see final exam. He can see it. He can clearly read the, uh, the name of the final exam. So he is certain about it that that's his exam for today. Here he has got the audio note which I had recorded. It's over here. Okay. So he can listen to this audio note if he wants. The timing hadn't started for him. In order to start the timing, it, we have to press on this thing. If you see the time right now, it's 7.02. So I'm already, as a student, two minutes late. I'll start my quiz, attempt quiz now. Once I click on that button, I'll see a double confirming message, which is again asking me, are you ready for it? Are you ready for the quiz? It is also mentioning that the quiz has a time limit of 30 minutes. The time will count down from the moment you start your attempt and you must, you must submit it. Uh, before it expires. I wanted to show you one thing here. It also shows that number of attempts allowed is one It's pretty much clear for the students and since he'll be attempting the exam in Arabic So he he will be knowing everything everything will be visible for him in the language of Arabic. Okay start attempt So once I started the attempt I can see the questions. Let's have a quick look here. I've got the quiz navigation area it's good that we have kept the navigation open because it is very much natural for the students that he might not be knowing one question. He will move to the other question. He can come back to one question in order to get the answer. So let's try uh, attempting the question. Question number one, since we kept the layout as one question per page, so only one question is visible. So I've, I'm done with the first one. I'll move to the next one. I can move from next page or I can move from here anywhere. Okay. As soon as I do that, I can see that uh, an, an extra indication is there that the question is being attempted. So let's do the second question, okay? And third question, for example, I don't know. I'll just go as it is. I'll go move to the fourth question. I'll click on the fourth one. As you can see, third is being showing up as blank, which, which is a clear cut indication that I haven't attempted it. Fifth question, we'll do it like this. We'll ju I'm just blindly, uh, clicking on the answers. Let's try to finish up the exam in a record time. Okay. Eighth question, ninth question, tenth, and then let's go to the seventeenth question, for example. Let's leave a few blank questions to see how does it appear for the student. Eighteenth. Okay, and then 19th. This is something, uh, I mean, we can change the layout to uh, to make all of the questions appearing at a single page. That will help the student uh, not waste the time and there won't be any connectivity issues. So this is something which you can think about it. Okay, fine. Right now we have got one question per page. I have come to the 20th question. Okay, I have clicked on that. I still have a few questions which I haven't done. I haven't given any answer. Never mind, I'll go to the finished attempt option. You should know that finished attempt is not like a game over. A student can still go back to the questions. So right now he can see a summary of attempt. Whatever questions he has saved, whatever questions he hasn't answered. Okay, we, we can see that third is not being answered. He can see it from here in the right hand side in the quiz navigation panel. Okay, if, you, if I come down, I can see all the 20 questions, whatever questions I have saved, it's showing up. And again, I've got an option. I can see the time Time. Time is clicking. I still have 27 minutes. I can return to attempt from here, either from here, or I can directly return from here and I can finish off my questions. Okay, so I'll do this one. Third is finished. I'll go to 11th. I'll click on 11th, one of the answers, and then I'll go to the 12th question. I'll click on false over here. 16th done okay and uh, this one is also done since we don't have any negative marking so the student will be attempting all of the questions right now all of the questions are black for me uh, i'll click on next page okay right now this shows that i have done everything what's whatsoever in the exam so all i need to do is 
I can click on this finish attempt from here or else right now I am in the 14th question. Okay. And uh, if I press on next page, it will go to 15th, then 16th and so on and so forth. So I'll go to the finish attempt over here. Okay. And then I'm pretty much sure that I'm done with my exam. Okay. So I'll just submit all and finish. Okay. Once I do that, I'll be getting a double confirmation message that once you submit you will no longer be able to change your answers for this attempt so okay i'll say okay fine i'm ready with that if i'm not ready i'll press on cancel but right now i'm ready to submit it so i'm going to give my paper to the invigilator in a way so i have clicked on submit all okay okay fine right now see once he is submitting, he cannot see anything whatsoever. He can't even see the questions which he has attempted, whatever answers he has given. The only thing which he can see is that summary of your previous attempts is in the state shows that's finished, everything finished, submitted, 7.07 a.m. and it's all done, fine. I cannot do anything. I'll go back to the course. Okay, I'll go back to the course. If I want to enter into the exam once again, let's go back to the exam. Let's click on that. And let's see what we are seeing. We are seeing the same welcome message, but we don't have any option whatsoever to go into the exam. In fact, it is showing me the summary that it is the state is showing that it is already finished over here. So it's all done as per the student's end. And the good thing is that the student is not being able to see anything about the answers he doesn't get any hint about the answers he can't even see his attempts so that he can communicate with the students okay so this looks good for uh, this this good looks this is looking good for the uh, system for the examination system now i'll go back to the teacher's profile and we'll see how is that attempt looking up over there if i can see the grades over there okay fine let's see the teacher's perspective Okay, I, I am I am again going to log into my teacher's account and I'll see how has the student how is it showing up for me as results. So I'll go to the exam time. I, if I click over here, I can see can I see anything over here? I can see that one attempt, one from your group is showing up. Okay. I'll click on that. I'll click on that. I'll come down. And if I see, I can see the name of the students and I can see the marks. And these marks were not visible for the students. He has scored 11 out of 20. So this system looks good, fine, solid, good enough to be implemented by all of the teachers of our college. If you have got any further doubts, you're most welcome to ask. Uh, uh, question me, inshallah. I'll be there 24 by 7 to help you. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.